up YouTube. <clears throat> uh, just want to make a quick update on uh, my new 12 gallon Nano Reef. Um, right now my metal halide light is off because it's actually like uh, it's like midnight right now. But I keep a little small T5 light over my back filtration because I got some macro algae in there. So I just slid it up so that you can see into my tank for the video. Anyways, uh, I know I stated in the last video that uh, I didn't know, I didn't think I was going to have to have a, a cycle in this with this tank. Uh, but I was wrong. Um, uh, when I got this tank, uh, the live rock sat out with no water for several hours because I had to go to work after I picked it up and stuff like that. And it was cold outside. Uh, so a little bit of the corn line algae made it. But pretty much all of that coral line algae that was on the back of the tank is gone, bleached out. Almost all of it's gone off the rocks. I mean, there's a little bit on that rock, a little bit on that rock, a little bit on that rock, a little bit on that rock. But other than that, there's none. And I've got diatoms growing all over the place. You guys can see all that brown. That's diatoms for you guys out there who don't know. Um, I just... <clears throat> I just got through testing my water. Uh, my nitrates are up, not a, not a whole bunch, um, but they are up. So um, this one's gonna be cycling. I tested my water a couple days ago, and everything was straight. Uh, let's see. I keep all my my tanks records right here. So ten gallon. Yeah, everything was straight the other day except for my uh, phosphates. I had about 0.25 parts per and uh, of nitrates in here, so so you can see, you know. So sorry, I got a little distracted. Uh, so <clears throat> this is gonna have to cycle, and it's not a big deal um, because I just. Uh, I got a deal on this tank, like I told you guys, for 150 bucks. But I just bought a 150-gallon tank with light canopy. Or not a canopy, but the glass canopy and light and stand for $50. So uh, I'm going to make that a Fowler tank, fish only with live rock. Probably going to be a Predator tank. Um, and then I also got a 55-gallon but no stand, but I'm going to build a stand for it. Now, 55 gallon for free. So I'm going to set that up. That's just going to be a, a fresh water. Probably going to put like an Oscar or two Oscars in there or something like that. For that. So I, I'm going to have... I never really made any videos for my 36 gallon. That's my that's a Fowler right now. 36 gallon Fowler up there right now. I never did make any videos for that. But... Um, uh, that's actually gonna be taken down. I'm gonna take that down. I'm gonna. I got a 90 gallon bio wheel filter on that. And that's a 36 gallon. I'm gonna take that 90 gallon filter off of there. Change the uh, cartridges out and use that for the 55 gallon freshwater tank. And then the tank that I got for $50, the 150 came with a big ass canister filter. So with that and the live rock, it's going to be straight. I won't really need no other filtration. Y'all can kiss my ass if you think otherwise. So I hear for some of you guys out there who think canister filters aren't good for salt water. Um, and for you guys who think that my 10-gallon uh, nano reef right there, I've never, I've never ran anything but canister filter right there at the bottom. That's a 10-gallon. I got that canister filter rated for a 35-gallon tank. And every every part of my water is absolutely where it should be with that tank. So you guys who think that canister filters are no good for salt water can suck one. Um, anyways, uh, also in this, I think in my last video, I told you guys about how I wasn't really experienced with these all-in-one tanks. These all-in-one tanks, I've never messed with them before. 
and I mentioned that the water level back in the back area where the filtration is was low. I did a little bit of research, talked to a couple guys that I know. Turns out that I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't have enough much. Uh, sorry, guys, I didn't have enough water in my tank overall. So I brought the water level up in the tank. I added about a gallon of well, actually almost two gallons of water, about a gallon and a half. And as you, I don't know if you guys can tell. But the first two, remember I said that the first two had water, but these two was low. But as you can see now, water right there, water right there. Both are right where they, both up where they should be. And as you can see, I got some macroalgae in there, and that's why I have this T5 light. I just leave the T5 light on for 24 hours a day right now until I get another timer. I would just leave it on all the time, but the light kind of shines down into my into my uh, tank when it's nighttime, so I don't want that, so I'm going to get another timer for it, because my timer's only got two fucking timer plugs on it, sorry for my language there, it's only got two daylight, because it goes by daylight, daytime and nighttime, it's got only got two for daytime, so it's kind of stupid, but anyways, oh, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the last video, but as you can see, I got that thermometer right there in the front. That's because I've been monitoring the uh, temperature of this water. Because the guy I got it from said he never ran a heater on his on this tank when he had it, never. Um, and where I have all my tanks is downstairs in the basement underground. It's always a little cooler. So uh, it's always cooler down here being in the basement. So I thought, well, I might need a heater. So I took this thermometer and put it in here. And it's just a... Uh, it's just the uh, magnetic type. And it turns out that my temperature stays right where it should be. Let's see if I can get it to focus. As you can see, it's right there where it should be with no heater. Just the metal halide during the day. And uh, so that's that. Um, once I get my 150 set up. Um, I, the only reason it's actually not got water in it or anything right now is because I got to re-silicone one part of it in there where the people who had it before had a snapping turtle in it and he was chewing on the silicone so a little bit of it's peeling off so just for my it holds water I've already filled it up and checked that but just for my own uh, mind state I'm going to re-silicone that one little part and then I'll have it set up hopefully tomorrow so I'll post a video of that and uh, so that's that, and hopefully you guys start watching my damn videos, because I ain't got no damn views. Thanks.